What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John here from Puma Plow. Welcome to the first ever episode of the Just Plowing podcast, or kind of known as the Puma Plow podcast. That's a lot of peas. Anyway, joining me on the first episode, I thought it would be... What? Sorry. I didn't so say funny. PPE. Come on. <laughs> Well, at least we got a good Die. intro, right? <laughs> well, Carson, Carson started laughing. I just couldn't help it. Joining me on the first podcast is Carson. What's up, Carson? Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, it's All it's right. going. Cool. And uh, we're also joined by Mr. Zach. Howdy. How how are we doing tonight? Oh, it's daytime. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, wh what... When are we even going to okay. upload these? I have like, no idea. Okay, night, okay. I don't morning. Know. Okay, it's totally not 1130 at night. We were supposed to start half an hour ago, but we've been sitting here laughing uh, in pre, <laughs> pre-recording. pre <laughs> It's not just, my fault. Just, just, on on our fault. recording software, it's it's four, it's like 415, like into yeah. this recording, and we just started. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> on the first uh, episode of the podcast, I kind of want to get into uh, a little bit of an origin story of Puma Plow and origin story of like how i met zach and how carson became part of puma plow and are, are you part of puma plow i don't even know how you became my dad i'm not your dad see that's that's a myth i, w I don't want people to know that i'm not actually zach's dad and i'm definitely not carson's dad however this episode is kind of called the puma plow and sons episode right yeah it's brought to you in part by puma plow and sons trademarked llc.com there you go. Not a real website, <laughs> but we have Not kind of a, a running website. joke. We have kind of a running joke. We might get a website someday, but we have kind of a running Probably joke that should. Carson and Zach are my sons. They are both old enough. I could be their dad. Just saying. I could okay, be. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, but I'm not, you see, but I definitely could be. Yep. So since this like is the first Puma Plot podcast we've ever put out, I thought it'd be cool to kind of go through a little bit of an origin story. Some of you, Zach, Carson, you guys may not even know this. I wanted to be a podcast many year or podcaster many years before Puma Plow was even a thing. Did you guys know that? Like, no, I didn't. Wow. But like, no. when we like first brought up this idea, you're like, I, you were like, bro, I've been wanting to do this forever. Yeah, it's been a long time. We're talking like, and then we're just like, let's do it. We're talking like Halo Two days, okay? Oh, my like God. since Wait. my birth or like how long? Uh, Halo Two. When did Halo Two come out? I don't even know. Like a long time ago. Uh, we've, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I used to listen to two different podcasts. Uh, one of them, I, I'm not going to mention the name of either one. One of them was three dudes and they would just sit in their garage and like hang out and talk for like an hour. It was fantastic. It was great. They were funny. Always wanted to be like them. We were going to call ourselves back then the wannabe podcast. Cause like we were wannabe podcasters, you know, never worked out. Anyway, uh, the other guy, he called himself a ninja caster. And what he meant by Ninja Caster is his wife didn't know that he was a podcaster and that he was kind of getting famous for it. And he would podcast in like the closet in their spare bedroom. He would go in there with some kind of like recorder and a microphone and he would sit there and podcast. And uh, like his wife never knew. And it was hilarious. Yeah. Tell him like things about their marriage and all the, all kinds of stuff. It was really strange. But anyway, fast forward a couple of years, Puma Plus started. My brother and I, we were like, hey, we're watching all these people on YouTube. We can do that. Let's buy some equipment. We got some crappy laptops. Let's go do it, right? If they can do it, we can do it kind of thing. And uh, so it ran from there for a couple of years. And obviously some other stuff happened with my brother and I that we're not going to get into that too much. And uh, during that time, actually, that my brother was still part of Puma Plow, Zachary... That's me. You popped up in our Twitch chat. I sure did. And you're like, "Hey, I know you, or I know where you it was, live." It was pretty. It was pretty great. It was because I, it, I remember like it was yesterday. Do you? I, I, I do. You were, were like, I was. You were like twelve. Mom, a mom and dad were at a trivia night. I think. So right. I was just chilling. I was vibing at that vibing at the crib, right? Just vibing at the crib. And. uh... Uh, I uh, I was I think I was watching YouTube before that I think, because I guess like how else would I know you were on Twitch right? But then yeah. I was like, 
I like messaged. I I messaged. I messaged you like like DM'd you like slid in the DMs on Twitch, right? Oh yeah, you were sliding, bro. No. <laughs> 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 little pop up slide, go. right? Right in the DMs. But uh I messaged you and I was like, Hey, you know, here's my last name, like my farm's like right next to yours, right? Yeah. And then I remember distinctly, John, you said, I know where you live. And it kind of like, that was, that's how we met. It's like, how you introduced yourself? It's like, I know where you live. I was like, that's kind of weird. Because, let's back this up a little bit, your dad cuts grass. My dad sells lawnmowers. Because you're a stalker. My dad and your dad known each other for a long time. And sometimes your dad would call and be like, hey, I need XYZ part. My dad would bring it home after work. And just take it to your house, like, on our way to the farm or something, which is yeah, not it's really... it's not like John's a stalker. It's not, it's like... like, on the way to the farm at all, but we would, you know, go out of the way to make it happen, you know? Yeah, what a what a guy. What Like, what a legend. What a so legend. That's, that's, yeah. that's how we met, and I think I, like, yeah. He, like, hung out in Twitch chat for a while, and then I was like, hey, bro, you and your dad should, like, come to the farm, because at this time you're, like, you know, 13 or something. <laughs> that was another great story. Yeah. We were just, we were... We were coming in the lane, and then all of a sudden, here's here's this drone above us. Yeah, I stalked you with my drone. Yeah, not gonna lie, it was a pretty what good time. Doing? Oh my god, good time. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I did, I did so then the we like thing, so. hung out, and you flew my drone, and, uh, and it was love. It, it was love at first sight with the drone. You, of course, you let him fly your drone. I did. I actually right after oh. meeting him, like he flew my drone. Yeah. Oh, dude, our right. throwback to when the four wheeler was a thing. I was whipping that. I was I was whipping that thing around yeah. that day. Yeah. That was when the four wheeler was still a thing. And then you like came to help out before Pumpkin Days. I can remember like we'd pick you up in the morning of Pumpkin Day, and and that uh, was not that was not the move. We all crammed into like the bench seat. <laughs> I was like I was like sandwiched in there like a pack of sardines. Oh, it was not pretty great. Much. What are you talking about? But no, sure. it's like you That's helped out around the farm quite a bit, and still do today, uh, which we'll touch on that later. But like it was. It was kind of weird, and then uh, you've got to fly my other drone, the, the current drone I have, and you've gone to Pinkneyville with us and stuff like that. Yeah, so, it was, good times. It was pretty great. I wish we were going this year. But I, hashtag, uh, you know, we're on yeah, right. We're on not, not happening. So, uh, Carson, I don't really even know, like, where did you find us? Actually, it was – because, like, because we were talking about this last night of, like, doing, like, how we, like, found this. Yeah. So we, like – Cause you can log on Twitch. You can see like when your account was created mm -hmm. and when you followed the channel. So actually the day I turned 14, the next day, the 14th of September, I created my Twitch account and then exactly like, not exactly, but like a f about a month later, I found you guys on Twitch, but I watched you guys on YouTube like way before that too. Oh, I got you. And then eventually came to Twitch and then hung around, went through a few ups and downs. <laughs> Uh, just one or two and then like yeah and then and then when we moved like because like moved here to start my freshman year and then like didn't know anyone so then i just got addicted to the computer yeah then came in team speak and then just played like <clears throat> games i think it was it was like the night we started kiwi you guys needed help and i was like i'll join i got the game and it was really weird because like then, you were one of the quote-unquote younger ones Oh yeah, because Kiwi was that was a while ago still, right? A little, little that while. Was, ago. I mean, you weren't you weren't like super young, but yeah. No, I was, I was fifteen, like fifteen. Yeah, but you I were one of downhill ever since. I know, right? No, you were one of the <laughs> wow. few like younger ones that we never really had issues with in Teamspeak. Besides you and Zach having issues with each other, but it's it's mostly like funny. Hey, besides the point, all right? Yeah, but like for the for the most part. Didn't really have any issues with you. There's been numerous, numerous other 14, 15, 16, 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds that we've had nothing but problems with. And uh, Carson's a very mature, not so, a nice guy. It was so bad. actually looking at this, I went to my Instagram because I remember like when I got my desk how I wanted it, I took a picture, oh. and that was March 8th, 2019, that day. And... Like that, I, we were you were streaming on one of the pictures. Like you can see, you're streaming yourself on this picture. Oh wow, nice, nice. So been around for a minute, not as long as Zach. Zach's been around for a long time now. I wonder, I wonder if I can see like when I slid in your DMs. Let me pull up Twitch. Oh, oh man, Twitch you could. You actually should it's be able to. You could. It's on. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness, I, that's okay. a great idea, Zach. 
Go to that. Wow. All right, all right. We're we're cooking with uh, we're cooking with some red dye diesel. Cooking with gas. Oh wow. Yeah, what? but it, it's it's just it's very interesting the way that like and as we go forward with this podcast, like it's not just going to be Carson, Zach, and I. Like it's it's going to evolve from that. Uh, most people I want to have on here is probably probably four people, maybe five, depending on like the situation. Because uh, I was actually thinking. I was actually thinking like it would be, a, yeah, a really cool topic for a whole whole podcast would be like my Twitch mods, and like yeah. how they do what they do and why they do, and you know, Bro. conversations that I've had with Twitch mods where it's like, yeah, this is cool, but yeah, this is crossing a line, and you're just you're not even getting timed out. You're going away. How? I was thinking that would be a cool conversation to have with a couple mods, you know that. So. My conversation would take forever in that one. Yeah, and then so I it guess. Looks like, go ahead, Zach. Sorry. No, you're good. Go My ahead. looks like the farthest I can go up was two twenty one two thousand sixteen. Oh, it's like four years ago. Over four years ago. My account was created two thousand sixteen. What did you say no, about DM? That's... Was it anything? No, that was when you said. Or someone said password, and then I, if you need the mods, I can get you a link. Oh, so it had nothing but to do with that. Remember, night. I was in Teamspeak before I was fourteen. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know if a lot of people know that about you, Zach. You broke the rules. I don't think they. I'm a rule breaker. Yeah, and and I knew rules it. Rules are I, meant to be broken. I let it happen, this... and I let it slide because technically our rule is fourteen. Probably should be older. Um, but Zachary was, uh, he was thirteen for like a long time. He uh, like yeah. just turned thirteen. He's yeah. in deep speak. Pretty much, yeah. Or maybe it was that. Maybe it was the thirteen when I was thirteen. That fall is when I found you guys on Mountain Lake on Twitch. I think That's so. When I whispered you maybe. I remember that night because yeah. I'm like, oh, you're Zach. That last name. Oh, that's then, your family's farm then, over there across the field, a mile away from mine. And everyone started calling me Zach. Zach. Remember that? Yeah, because I was like, is that Zach or is that Zach? Zach? Because. To be honest, in the early days of the, of especially the Twitch community, we had just an obnoxious amount of, of Zacks. And oh, we yeah, still do. Were... Oh, like, yeah, for sure. And not everybody goes by Zach because there's a lot of screen names. But once you get to know people, it's like, yeah, my name's Zach. It's like, oh, you too, huh? Or even Matt. There's a few Matts around too. Yeah. Just saying, which we'll hopefully have one or more of them on this podcast someday. Um, It'll, it'll be interesting, but uh, it was funny how many Zachs we had back then. So when, when my brother would be like, hey, Zach, I'd be like, is that Zach, Zach? Because back then, yeah. like, I really focused on the game. I didn't really look at chat. I didn't get that whole, like, chat is very important part of Twitch for a while. Yeah. I'm just saying. So kind of yeah, interesting. I mean, I mean, besides, like, this car's get out, I don't think I've made a mistake being here. <laughs> Dude. So, uh, don't podcast listeners, started. what you don't know is uh, Zach and Carson. Started. Zach and Carson, they, they claim that they're brothers, but they, they act like an I old want, married I want couple. An adoption. Do you want an adoption? I think he should be adopted. Oh, like a way? Wow. I, I like aged out of the adoption process. So I mean, Not true. Sorry, Carson. It's on, it's, on, it's on you. It's all on you. Well, anyway, uh, they're kind of most of the time like oil and water. But yeah, you guys Snapchat like literally daily. Uh, I think he has like, a purple heart by his name on my Snapchat. Whoa. Whatever that means. Whoa. And it's, actually, it's, it's, it's default God. snap. That's kind of a, another like subset that, that I've, over the years of Puma Plow, I thought was really, really cool. Is that like some people like you guys or uh, Zach, I know you talk to some of the people that aren't necessarily around anymore or around as yeah. much, but like you've made friends through Pimmel like Plow. gangster? What, what a guy. Yeah. I, mean, I snap him a little bit, too. Not going to lie. <laughs> a little bit. Like, Taters, I was just talking with him. Yeah. I think that's that's super cool. That's like a a, a side effect of all this Pimmel Plow stuff that I never knew would, would be a thing, you know? And it's really yeah. neat. So, there is that. So, But no. I Carson and I argue a lot, but I, I like him for the most part. He, he makes fun of me a lot, but I like him. We, the, I mean, John's no better. Yeah, for the, I'm the see. I stir the pot and then I just dip. Like, oh, I gotta yeah. go. I gotta, I gotta go make a video. Oh, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> while while the pot's still stirring. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, 
So they just fuel me up. That's that's what's the real yeah, thing. Yeah, I gas you up and I just walk away. Gas me up, Chad. It's great. All right. So one of the other things I wanted to touch on in this podcast is like, what do y'all do? Because you know you're part of Puma Plow and Sons. Uh, it's an it's an exclusive group. There's literally three people in it. Uh, it's not really a real thing. It's it's not a real thing at all. It's just something we made it's, up. It's more of a joke. But I do all the video editing. What do you guys do? What do you guys, oh, do? <laughs> do, you guys do for Puma Plow? Get out of town, Zach. You can start because mine might take a while. Oh, see, see <laughs> get this guy out of here. Like, can we just can we like get this guy out of here, please? No. So all right, cool. So most of the time, I'm gonna say Zach, you are the comedic relief. You are the. I mean, angry. I feel like I'm the punching bag most of the time. To, to BH. I mean, if you go to my Twitch page right now, twitchtv Um shameless plug. Shameless like plug. That. <laughs> shameless plug. That was good. Uh, if you go to the Twitch page and you scroll down to the soundboard, Zach, you're the only two sounds on the board right now. I you actually are. Hashtag. Woo woo. Yeah, there it is. Chat, you got one for free or whatever we call the people listening to the yeah. <laughs> podcasters. We you got it for free. I'm just saying. So Zach's the comedic comedic relief, and honestly, Zach helps out a lot in in uh, real life with uh, stuff like that. The IRL help is what we yeah. what we decided last night. Without, like, Zach, Pumpkin Day would be a struggle to put on, to be completely honest. What uh, can I say? I mean, I got I got heavy shoulders, you know? I mean, so, Zach, so the past couple times you've been to the farm, somebody has to hold that shovel, you know? I mean, I'm pretty good at, like, holding the shovel. You were pretty good at hanging out with my nephew the other day, too. That was, yeah. Dude, we were straight vibing. Yeah, you guys were. I actually want to see the video that my brother-in-law was filming, but uh, I should have him send it to me. It was pretty great. And then... Yeah, but, like, I'm... Mm-hmm. Yeah, what else do you I do? I just like, I help out in real life. Mm -hmm. I help you out in a video game. Uh, we need to go get food sometime. We need to like go get like <laughs> actually, frozen custard. Actually, something. have you been past my house like you last night or tonight? No. You need to drive past my house. It's all decked out, bro. I, I will. America. Sometime. America. I'll, I'll come, bro, I'll no come. cap. No cap. It's you guys haven't, haven't even seen it's it all. Lit. Um, I'll come stalk you. Yeah. The other thing, Zach, I was going to say that you do, and, and you do this without anybody asking, is in our farm sim maps, a lot of the times, especially if you like the map, you know, like our, our last one, it seemed like you were into it, uh. but Zach's the guy that puts all of our equipment away after we make a mess. We pile really it in the homestead yard, and he cleans it, fuels it. Yeah. It really bothers me. Not necessarily fuel, but, like, I'll, I, like, clean everything, mm -hmm. and then, like, it's got to be backed in straight, and, like, it's got to be... Yeah. It bothers my OCD, so it's got to be everything's got to put it be put in the right way. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that, honestly. Because like, it's a good thing, so that when we go to it next time, we know where it's at or where it should be, anyway. You know. And uh, before we, before we get over to Carson, if you guys want to like go like you know maybe like drive across the country or like you know bake a pie or something, you know Carson's might take a while. So, you, I mean, whatever you want to do to pass the time. We're not going for that so long of a podcast, bro. Well, I mean, Carson's list is like a lot longer than mine. You know, hashtag it rub it in Carson. So, so I mean, it's like it's like what you do in like the homie say will be back in five. Like you can go like make a full course meal. You can like <laughs> make a steak. Yeah. Wow. Hashtag not salty Carson. Hashtag <laughs> Jellville. Hashtag go for it. Hashtag hashtag. All right, so Carson, what do you do for Puma Plow? <laughs> so don't don't get me started. And sons. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot so. the and sons. My bad. So the My day I actually became like a mod was you were you were achievement hunting mm -hmm. when it like fifteen or something. Yep. Yeah. And you're like, Oh, that could be a great TikTok. So I just made it for you. I still think that's a mistake, but whatever. <laughs> and then, cause like I was the VIP when I made that and then Trent's like, cause like Tim and Whips. Trent's yeah. like, Wow, he's like whips and then you're like, Should I give him a sword? Which, I'll and be honest, like, I had kind of been contemplating sword for a while, because, like, you're pretty much always, in, especially with the Rona hitting, like, Bro, pretty much always in with, chat. Like, without being in school, usually yeah. I wake up and turn on the computer and get in the team speak. Yeah. That is, that is like, the the, the daily now. Mm -hmm. And then, and then. I mean, what else are we supposed to do? I mean, what, hashtag, where are we dropping, boys? Hashtag yeah. tomorrow, tune in to go I, watch this place Fortnite. This will, be, this will be put up well after our Fortnite stream. Yeah. From Thursday, yeah, July second, you know, right? We're gonna go catch yeah. some Vic Royales. It's gonna be pretty lit. Yeah, I'll break yeah. down. I'll break down the fourth wall. I like to do this a lot in my videos. It's it's uh, July first. 
when we're recording yeah. this. We'll see when it gets put out, or if it ever gets put for, out, like for, publicly. For eight more minutes, it is July first. That's right. So, <laughs> go celebrate America this, Day this weekend. Be safe. This no, it's, it's going to come out after this podcast. Literally <laughs> took two days to upload or to to create. It will. <laughs> it take did two days. But then, uh, so yeah, Carson's a mod on my Twitch page. For sure. Now an editor. Yep, editor of the Twitch have, page. I can, what else? I can edit the bot. Hmm? I can do a lot more things than what most people do anyways. He's I basically make, like John's right-hand man. Pretty much, yeah. Like, What's that dude's name from Talladega Nights? Like the shake and bake fella? Oh, like, oh John, you're, you're Ricky Bobby, and then he's like the other guy. I want to go fast. That's the only line I know for that movie. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, with the whole DMCA strikes, we were worried about, like, old old videos getting struck mm -hmm. so i spent entire afternoon deleting every clip every highlight pretty much yeah every vod yeah and, and i feel like carson's good at that too like at the carson just does stuff like without being asked like john will like bring up a subject and be like carson's like oh it's already done i got you home yeah. sliced it's like all right i was like do you want me to and he's like if you want and then like he comes back after making dinner i was like hey look at your twitch page and he's like where'd everything go yeah because like I'll be honest, the, the last thing I want is you to feel like you're forced to do anything, you know? Yeah. Because outside, like, of the, outside of the graphic stuff that you do, which we'll get to in a minute, the rest of the stuff yeah. I can do. I mean, I could probably like, figure out a, a graphic editor, you know, Photoshop, GIMP, something. I could figure it out cause, eventually. Because even like when I was like, because like I offered you, I was like, I will make your uh, clip videos for you. And yep. you're like, sure, go ahead. Because Believe they're a ton of work to do. Yeah, I, I didn't care doing it, honestly. So why why do you do it, Carson? <laughs> because like, well, recent because this year I'm going to a like a college like a high school class for but college class, and I'm going into video production. So I was like, why, why not like learn stuff before? Because yeah. if you recall, I was like, so then I'd like so I I think I DM John. I was like, yeah. I, I'll edit for you. Like we had a, I'll we take had your a, editing stuff from you. We had like a, a team speak conversation one day and you're like, yeah, I'm thinking about going into, you know, video production or whatever. And I yeah. was like, then why not get started now? Cause you were like interested in it. Obviously yeah. since that's something you're probably going to end up doing. Yeah. Uh, or at least going to school for. And uh, yeah. it's like, why not jump on it now? You can get familiar with the software and Hey, you're building a portfolio portfolio too at the same time you know yeah because like because i just don't edit videos either yeah well. i'm i wouldn't say i'm the best at making emotes and like other little custom things but like I, i've <laughs> i've made his most of his twitch emotes now better than me right it's hands-on education yeah. that the state of oklahoma does not have to pay for <laughs> there you go i do <laughs> i have to there pay you. for it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you're the state of oklahoma way to go all right <laughs> let's go taxes are like, being raised like even 3, when i was like Cause even like, like you were like with the clip video, I was like, I'll make your clip videos for you. And you're like, if you really want to, you can. Cause like, cause shameless plug on my stream today. It, oh, get this guy out of here. Come on. <laughs> I, I spent two hours making the video. Yeah. But and that that's... wasn't the hour and a half of inspecting everyone, deleting it, then saving and naming that clip. Yeah. One video, one 20 minute video probably takes four hours to create. So, and so Carson, what's your price range? Because I got like a bunch of videos to be edited. Like, what's the price? <laughs> see, and then like the other thing is like, I would edit your vi like every video you make. It's just the time it would take to upload it, download it, edit, re-upload, yeah. and download, yeah. and then upload it to YouTube is it's just not worth it. No, between streaming and uploading, which I'm uploading currently right now, two videos. Uh, but between streaming and uploading to YouTube, I'm basically 24 seven. I can't take the time to upload a 10 gig raw file and, and ship it over. I would like to, but at the same time to me, when a channel goes a hundred percent to a offsite editor or somebody that's not even on the channel, it kind of loses something to me, you know? Yeah. Cause it's like, it's not as personal anymore. And so like an on the farm video, let's say, I will never farm that out to somebody else to edit. See what I did there, farm on the farm? Yeah. I will never GG. farm that out for somebody else to edit because it's just not as personal. And no, I won't plow that over to Carson, no. And, and, and it's not anything, nothing against those channels that do that because, you know, those guys are busy. I understand it. Yeah, like Tim and the, like Tim, they've got, they've got team editors yeah. to do oh, that. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, but he's like a super busy, very successful, and Tim the Tap yeah, Man, in case you guys don't know who Tim. We keep saying he, Tim. He also, like, what, a year ago maybe now, he had a kid. Yeah, he's, he's busy. He's got a wife and everything. He's got a real life. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with getting an editor. It's just, for what I do, it like a, a vlog especially, I would say, like, which basically on the farm yeah. is a vlog. Yeah, that, that would much. just be really weird for me to like, here you go, Carson. Here's 100 gigs worth of footage. Have fun. Like the Pink Meville. Yeah. That because there's there's a ton of video files. That... There's over 100 gigs, I think, total. Oh yeah. It was... Between my camera, Zach's camera, there's there's about the 100 drone. gigs. Yeah, drone. The yeah. easiest way that I think it would be to do it is literally to put it on a drive and mail the drive. Yeah, that would be the easiest way. Or I'm actually not even upload it in anything. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm my nephews. My nephew showed some interest in editing, so I think I'm going to get him the footage, hopefully uh, before this video even, or this this podcast even comes out, to be honest. But that's yep. that's the theory right now, because he's local. He can come over, plug a hard drive into my computer, you I know, say, away we go. He can, he can drive across wherever yeah. and go plug like it into your computer. 20 minutes away by car, and he's coming, like, to my town, like, the city, to watch fireworks, and going to the farm to watch, or, like, hang out that day, so... It is See, if I wanted sense. to go drive over and get it off his computer, I would have to hop in the car now, and I would get there. You're like probably two hours after sunrise. I would assume your car, like you can just stay. You can stay at my house. Ten or eleven <laughs> hours away. Something I like think that. It's, then it's also yeah, like it's nine not. or seven or something. I don't know. We it's, moved my sister to Tulsa once. It was terrible. Yeah. That's bring your jet ski. Yeah, <laughs> bring the jet ski. Bring the jet ski. <laughs> Let's go. We'll go to the lake. Or the river. I've also acquired the nickname of Daddy's Money too. <laughs> no. Don't and, get don't. And Wex Jr. Yeah, let's not get into that. Uh, so Carson makes emotes for Twitch. He edits the clip videos. Uh, honestly, also, anything. Like, just, you there's tune all in kinds stream of, and there's something weird on the screen. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> there's all that. kinds of back, back end stuff. Back end. Words are hard. Uh, back end stuff that Carson like helps take care of and, and whatnot. And half the stuff I don't even ask, honestly. Like the TikToks, so he'll just be like, he, he, he. he'll start laughing, and I'm just like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> you know, I've learned. I've honestly, I've like learned the the not, TikTok of when like the jump scare TikTok from when the, the lightning, lightning struck hit. Yeah. You you turned off your computers and you came back and I sent and I was like, hey, check your DMs. Yeah. And it, it was literally the Google Drive file of that TikTok. Yeah, it was crazy. Ready to go crazy but like i've learned over the time it's like if somebody wants to make something or somebody wants to help don't say no because you never know what they're going to come up with it could be genius honestly you know even even starting this podcast i've gotten help from from different people you know it's not just my thing and i'm you know on the googles doing all the research and stuff it's it's a team effort that's the way i like to run it is yes puma ply was mine but like it's a team effort, you know, and it's it's cool cool to get that help. Uh, so Carson, even, I, like, I don't. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know if a lot of people know this, and I don't know if we should actually talk about this, but I do pay Carson. Carson does get money from me. Yes. Uh, to help out and do the stuff, you know. Uh, Zach just it's gets like, Dairy Queen on Sundays. <laughs> Zach gets food. Because like, which is funny. Cause I don't even cause buy like, it. That's from my dad. <laughs> sometimes like, i buy because like i'm good good to say this zach but like when a few nights ago me and zach were in here by ourselves like no one else was up yep. and we were talking about fire trucks <laughs> i heard about that and, and then yeah. even, even zach was like i feel like if you like you weren't like if you weren't like if you never showed up this this would be different like the stream stuff would be totally different. Oh, it would be. Our emotes would be just like non-existent. Or I'd have to go on Fiverr and pay somebody like outrageous amount of money. Half a grand, right? Just saying. Not or that like, I like underpay you. I mean, I think I do okay, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a private even the conversation. clip videos, like <laughs> yeah, the clip clip videos. Would you would you make clip videos every month? I think I would, especially now that like I'm not streaming Wednesdays. Um, yeah. You know, let's let's be honest here. Harris Heller, like his number one thing is like you make content in other places. Yes. And so by not streaming Wednesdays, cough cough, there's a podcast magically now. And yeah. I'm not saying we're gonna record one every single week, but we might. You know, 
I'd like to I'd like to record a couple. Yeah. Good Zach. I don't know. Carson like he really gets under my skin and he does a really good job at it, but at the same time, it's someone like no offense, but like it's it's a young person like I can relate to. Like I have no he's, I can't even count the number of questions like I've asked Carson. He's, like, just, he's just he just relatable. he just called the rest of us old. The rest of the <laughs> black community old is what he just said. I mean, I feel like Carson and I are the closest in age. I mean, that and Trent. Yeah. You know, Hunter's like, right there. Carson like out of the team speak like, people, there's not many people that are always in team speak yeah. around our age. That's true. Carson Carson always he always has the answer. He's pretty pretty good. Carson, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just we'll waiting see. for your brother to show up, you know. Oh he just needs a computer. I right? don't I literally said, do you want this, like, would you consider a computer game? And he's like, nah. And I was like, bet. All right, cool. <laughs> and that's the other thing. Like, you're, like, you're trying to build a new computer right now, which also, to me, kind of, like, terrible. was like, hey, you do stuff, I'll pay you towards that computer, you know? And, and Zach, if you need something like, for even your computer, like, I would probably help you out, too, you know? Just saying. Like, even, like, going into the Twitch chat and be like, all right, like, there's people that have came in and be like, I'm looking to get a computer. What's good? Yeah, we love talking computers. We all, oh, God, oh, we could talk. We could sit here insane. and talk computers. You get the right people for like five hours. Oh, just for saying. Sure. Like no cap, bro. But right now, literally everything's price gouged, and it's not worth. I was the... I was looking at the Go XLR today. It's only as of today's recording, it was uh, uh like eight hundred forty dollars. Yeah, eight hundred forty dollars roughly, and I was like, wow, it's. That's down over a thousand dollars from what it was, and it's still up four hundred from what it yeah. should be. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's outrageous, but it is what it is with the with the Rona and all the shutdowns going on. It it just makes sense, you know, that everything is yeah uh, so limited and uh, the price gouging. I don't like, but I get limited supplies. But, but I don't like, like if you just... if you've like looked at like the price history, it's going down. Yeah. On everything. You can see it's slowly going down. To me, they should just sell it for the normal price and then just say out of stock. Instead of saying, yeah. oh, you can get it, but it's going to, a $400 item is going to cost you $2,000. That's ridiculous, you know? And then you also got to wait three weeks for it to get here. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of insane, to be honest. But kind also, like, the tech support on a lot of that stuff, they're doing an amazing job right now. Because, like, yeah. earlier today, I emailed Sears, Steel Series and, like, they got back and they're like, we don't know when it's like going to be back in stock, but like it's soon. Like they're working on it. And then the case I'm getting, I emailed them and they're like, it's it'll be here this time, this year, this month. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Like, I was like, thank you. Yeah. No, that's great. There's that's... also plenty of companies that haven't responded, but like <laughs> they could be answering more emails. I don't know. Hey, emails are hard. Okay. I don't answer emails. I don't like emails. Speaking of emails, though, Carson. Zachary. Oh no. I would I would like people because the the eventual goal of this podcast is to get it on to say Spotify, right? Yeah. And is there like a like email in with questions? Is there a, like a comment section on Spotify? I don't think there is, right? I don't think so. I'm not. I don't even. I don't, I, I've listened to like I one podcast so. on Spotify. No. Anyway. Not on Spotify. Or like Apple or wherever. We're hopefully going to push this thing out like eventually i don't know about everywhere but try to get this thing out and get it going and get it rolling uh so i guess if people have like yeah. comments questions that they want to send to us you know we could have an email segment kind of thing you know uh that you also, guys so you guys didn't know anything about this by the way but yeah clearly <laughs> yeah also um oh what was it i was gonna do it today but then i actually ended up mowing because i was gonna set up um like an Instagram, Twitter. Uh, yeah, well, we might get into all that stuff. Um, and maybe, maybe even at like a email account, like. Well, so like a, I have an email right like now that we can own. use that makes a lot of sense. It is Puma yeah. Plow I mean, Answers. I meant like. Puma Plow like Answers bit, like, at gmail dot com, right? Okay. I think that, that works. Or, I was gonna say even like like the just plowing podcast or something like yeah maybe eventually like a business email eventually yeah but for right now if you guys have any comments questions concerns uh puma plow answers at gmail.com uh i will start checking that email account i get the notifications on my phone uh even for that email account so if you guys have anything let us know uh to be completely honest we're probably just going to release this first episode at least at first um in our discord for our like 
the loyal people if they want to listen to it sub. and check it out and let us know what they think Pro- stuff before we probably sub probably the sub chat in there possibly we'll see we'll see uh, but that's all I had for the podcast I don't know if you guys had anything else you wanted to touch base on but uh, you guys are more than welcome not really for the podcast well I've got something for podcast but not podcast okay it's more of the art for it but oh for yeah them. yeah Zachary you got anything else you want to add no sir all right I'm guessing okay so like the last thing I just made, popped in my brain. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is like, what do we want this podcast to be? Where do we want this podcast to go? And uh, that kind of stuff. Like, you know, where if do we were to listen to a podcast? Do you want it to shoot for an hour? That's a good question. Half an hour. That's a 45 great... minutes. Yeah. Like what? What's like a general time you would listen to a podcast? That's for? a good question. That's a good question. Or if you've I... got a topic. You I like to say this now. on my on my YouTube videos. It's like if you're still listening this far in, you're the ones that I'm want to talk to because you guys are the dedicated yes. ones. If you're still listening, you know. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, how long of a podcast are we going for? I don't even know. I would like this to actually become like a a, a weekly thing. I would like to get to that yeah. point eventually. Maybe at first, not so much, but eventually. Um. I would like to have just tons of different people on out of the TeamSpeak community, the people that I, I've known for a long time, trust, that kind of stuff. And uh, video games will be a topic. Real life stuff, comedy, you know, we'll make each other laugh. We're Carson and Zach yelling at each other. You know, it's funny. <laughs> just saying. See, uh, what we you were... guys probably, if, if this gets released, what you guys probably won't see is the first, like, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not you releasing won't... that, no. <laughs> that was great. Uh, that's... That's one of those things in like five years we'll release, okay? Okay. <laughs> but uh That was pretty pretty good. It was pretty good, yeah. Yeah. We finally just were like, all right, can we start now? But uh yeah, no, I I it was great, yeah. Uh we were talking the other good day about us. a whole episode where we just talked Minecraft. Like you know the, like an the n like the new server. Yeah, like a potential new server, yeah. Like get get like the main Minecraft crew in here. Yep, main Minecraft like crew what, and. What do they want to see in a server? Yeah. How how do we want it to be ran? Exactly. So, but that's why I think we're gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, we've I don't I don't know because our we started our recording and then like had to chop off a bunch of the beginning because you know. We're I think it's about thirty five minutes ish. That's pretty good. Something like that. That's pretty good. So I think we're going to go ahead and cut it there. Uh, Carson and Zach, thanks for joining me on the podcast. Yep. Thanks for having me, Dad. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not your dad. So when when do you want me to start editing these two? Oh, harsh. (laughs) So we're having for breakfast in the morning. Next week, okay? All right. (laughs) Uh, What am I having for breakfast tomorrow? I'm having a protein drink. What are you having? What are we having? I'm not going to breakfast with you. You're not going to make my breakfast in the morning? What a terrible dad. <laughs> I'm not your dad, and you definitely do not live in my house. I'm just saying. How do you know? <laughs> I mean. Okay. I'm pretty sure dad. I know. Dad. Woogie, sure. woogie, woogie. I'm pretty sure I know. All right. So thank you guys for joining me on the first episode of uh, Just Plowing, or the Puma Plow podcast. I think Just Plowing, right? Just Plowing. Just Plowing. Just, uh, just, plowing. just Plowing, the Puma Plow podcast. How about that? It needs to be. There sure. you go. That's a lot the of Puma peace. Plow production. As that made Zach laugh earlier, but that's part of getting cut too. <laughs> Where you laughed earlier. Yeah. Oh, this, this is what it should be. It, it should be the Just Plowing Podcast Puma Plow. Plow. There's a lot of peas. Just Plowing Podcast by Puma Plow. Yes. Ooh. Sponsored Ooh. in part by Puma Plow. Puma Plow and Sons. <laughs> LLC.com, not a real website. Thanks for playing. Right? Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening, uh, watching, listening whatever to the uh, podcast. Appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one until then toodles.